Hi, my name is Tom O'Neill. I am part of the Dell Primary Storage Product Management Team, and I'm here to introduce an exciting joint effort between the Power Store and the data protection teams here at Dell to provide backup and recovery that flows directly from Power Store to a PowerProtect DD appliance running either on a customer site or in a cloud. This integration is being released as part of the Power Store 3.5 release in Q2 of this year. With this release, you can now back up applications running on a power store directly to PowerProtect with no dedicated backup server required and zero impact to your application hosts. With this integration, PowerStore customers have a very cost-effective way to take advantage of PowerProtect, the industry's number one data protection appliance. It works with either physical PowerProtect DD appliances or the software-defined DD Virtual Edition. Backups are very efficient as only changes are sent across the wire. PowerProtect ingests unique blocks only and cost reduces those with great data reduction. We see as much as 65 to one data reduction on the DD backup appliances, allowing the backups to be very space efficient. This integration backs up volumes and volume groups via an incremental forever methodology. It can back up as much as 150 terabytes per day with PowerStore's data mover for physical DD appliances. And as I mentioned, after the initial backup, only differentials from previous backup need to be moved. Backups can be orchestrated from either PowerStore Manager, which is primarily aimed at storage administrators, or PowerProtect Data Manager, which is aimed at data protection administrators. While most of the capabilities I discuss work similarly for both orchestrators, most of my discussion will focus on PowerStore Manager. Setting up the workflow to your PowerProtect appliance can be done in just 90 seconds, enabling administrators to offload backups to either physical, virtual, or cloud-based targets. This allows storage administrators to independently retrieve or restore snapshots from PowerProtect DD appliances to an existing PowerStore or to a new PowerStore cluster. Administrators can easily peek into the remote backup contents through a feature called Instant Access in a few clicks, enabling temporary access to the snapshot without bringing it back onto the PowerStore. Tightly integrating PowerStore and PowerProtect DD appliances can enable more efficient data center operations and can be part of your multi-cloud data protection strategy. A backup and storage solution from a single vendor can reduce data protection administration costs by up to 22%, and backing up data to a PowerProtect DD appliance can save up to 41% in power and cooling per petabyte, enabling you to reduce your carbon footprint and further your organization's sustainability goals. And I have great news for PowerStore customers. There is already a strong affinity between the PowerStore customer base and our data protection appliances, as a quarter of you already have them in-house, which will make it easy for you to take advantage of this great new feature. And you can do this at no extra cost, as there are no separate licenses needed for this integration when using PowerStore Manager. As we'll discuss later, there are multiple restore slash recovery options. Back to the original volume group, to new volumes on the original source array, to volume groups on a different PowerStore array, or instant access, which allows an admin to mount a copy of the volume group to allow surgical recovery. Native backups driven from PowerStore Manager to the backup appliance are crash consistent and are incremental forever, greatly reducing the amount of data that needs to be backed up after the initial full copy backup. We are seeing backup performances up to 150 terabytes per day, which is fast enough to meet the needs of just about all applications running on PowerStore. If application consistent backups are required, they will be supported via PPDM. Setting up daily backups is very fast and intuitive. Customers can determine whether to create them every day, multiple times per day, or less frequently if that better meets their business needs. After a backup rule is set up, it will run automatically and only the data that has been changed since the last backup will be copied and moved. This process works the same regardless of whether the backup target is a physical DD appliance, a virtual DD running on-prem, or a virtual DD running in the cloud. Each PowerStore cluster can have up to 64 individual backup rules, providing customers with the ability to optimize the backups for all of the applications running on their clusters. PowerStore Manager provides comprehensive, easily understood reporting on the status of backups running on their clusters. 
Administrators can see whether a particular session is idle, meaning it's waiting for the next scheduled backup, being prepared to run, or is in progress. It also lets the administrator know if the backup failed for any reason. The UI also provides info on what time the last backup was taken, as well as how long it took, helping PowerStore administrators understand the status of their backup environment. Okay, we get how easy it is to backup from PowerStore, but what about application recovery? There are two ways to recover customer applications from PowerProtect backups. First, retrievals, also known as restores. This option copies a remote snapshot from a PowerProtect DD appliance back to a PowerStore to help recover a volume or volume group. Secondly, instant access. This option allows a host to access a snapshot of a volume or volume group residing on a PowerProtect DD appliance. There are two primary use cases for this feature. One, it allows customers to view the contents of a remote snapshot before issuing a retrieve command, ensuring as efficient a recovery as possible. And two, it allows users to access deleted, corrupted, or modified data within the snapshot to provide a more granular application recovery. There are three types of backup retrievals that are supported as part of this integration. One, retrieval of a remote snapshot back to the production volumes on the production PowerStore cluster, which allows users to recover their production application if it's severely corrupted. Two, retrieval of a remote snapshot onto a different set of volumes on the production PowerStore cluster, which allows users to easily test their ability to recover if a disaster occurs. And three, retrieval of a remote snapshot to a different PowerStore cluster, which provides customers with an ability to recover a production application if its entire cluster is compromised or corrupted. Users will be able to see all of their existing backups in PowerStore Manager, allowing them to select the best snapshot to perform the retrieval operation. Retrievals will be incremental, so they will only move data that has changed since the snapshot was created. These options provide customers with the flexibility they need to recover their applications to best meet their business needs. As I mentioned earlier, PowerStore provides an ability to view the snapshots resident on a DD appliance to ensure that it is the correct snapshot to be used for a retrieval operation. This is known as an instant access session. An instant access session mounts the snapshot to a host, enabling the administrator to determine which snapshot is the best one to use for a retrieval or use the snapshot for a more granular surgical recovery. Having to recover an entire application that is corrupted is not a very common occurrence, so providing the ability to perform a granular recovery mechanism is likely to be much more frequently used than a complete snapshot retrieval. Before we go, I want to spend a little time discussing the value that PowerProtect Data Manager provides customers. There are a few key benefits that this orchestrator provides above and beyond leveraging PowerStore Manager. First, application consistency requires PPDM. Most applications work well with crash consistent replicas, but leveraging application consistent snapshots can ensure database consistency, sometimes improving the ability to recover a corrupted database. PPDM will add application agents over time that will work well with this integration. Second, some applications are spread across PowerStore appliances or even across clusters. Leveraging PPDM can provide data protection for these applications. Another benefit PPDM provides is that it can provide backup and restore of NAS, allowing customers to use the same data protection mechanism for block and file volumes on their clusters. And finally, Snapshots that are backed up to a PowerProtect DD appliance will be able to take advantage of the DD Cyber Protection Vault in the future, allowing customers to have cyber-protected snapshots that they can recover from if needed. To wrap up, we are very excited about this new integration between PowerStore and the PowerProtect DD appliances. As we discussed, there are a number of great benefits that customers will derive from this integration. Tightly integrating PowerStore and PowerProtect DD appliances can enable more efficient data center operations and can be part of your multi-cloud data protection strategy. This will help you avoid cloud vendor lock-in as DDVE is supported with all the major public clouds, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure. Leveraging our differential-based backups with great data reduction can reduce your cloud storage costs while also reducing the amount of on-prem storage needed for your PowerStore. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our PowerStore native backup integration. Have a great day.